Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at the top three faith meta builds by a cold boy. I'm going to condense this down into one build because really faith only has one build if you're not going to use a hybridization. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. Today we are taking a look at the three strongest faith builds in Elden Ring. My goal is to equip you with the best items, weapons, and talismans to use. One more thing before we get into it. Do not use this sponsor. Do not pay for runes. Wielding the Blasphemous Blade in your right hand and the Erd Tree Seal in the left will allow for very destructive melee attacks with the Taker's Flame ability on your Blasphemous Blade and also high damage fire incantations with a huge area of effect. This build has incredible offense, very good defense, and it's extremely reliable, making this one of the best faith builds in Elden Ring. 150, which is where most people like to stop leveling up their characters for PvP purposes, your attributes could look something like this. We have Vigor at 50, Mind 25, increased our Endurance to 30, Strength at 40, Increased our dexterity just a little bit so we can use some other weapons. And then we have faith at 45. I also recommend increasing your arcane to at least 15 so you can use some of the dragon's communion incantations. Like I mentioned earlier, your primary weapon, the best faith weapon in Elden Ring is the Blasphemous Blade. Mine is plus 10, fully maxed out, you can see here. So we are using the Erd Tree Seal, fully maxed out, plus 10, S tier faith scaling. And you can see here our incantation scaling is 357. The armor, we have the full dragon scale armor set that is actually obtained from defeating one of the targets during the Volcano Manor questline. I think this armor looks pretty badass and it definitely fits this build. Next, we are going to take a look at the talismans on this build, and in my personal opinion, I think these are the best in-slot options to use on a build like this. The first one here is the Shard of Alexander, which is going to greatly boost the attack power of skills, which means our Taker's Flame ability on our Blasphemous Blade, for example, is going to do more damage. Obviously, this fire build would not be complete without the Fire Scorpion Charm that raises our fire attacks. We also have Flox Canvas Talisman, which greatly raises the potency of our incantations, which means our offensive fire incantations are going to do more damage. And last but not least here, I highly recommend using the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman, because for most of our weapon skills here, like the Taker's Flame, for example, it's going to leave us exposed and you want to make sure you have more survivability. So with this talisman, you are going to get an enormous boost to your physical damage negation. For the wondrous physic mix on this build, I highly recommend using the flame shrouding crack tier, which temporarily boosts fire attacks, pairs very nicely with the cerulean hidden tier, which eliminates all FP consumption. Okay, so since this is a pretty generic faith build, we're going to take our pre-made build that I made for Cryptid Tracker's build planner and go through that. We're going to start with the Vagabond starting class. We're going to have 60 Vigor since that's the bigger soft cap. We're going to have 20 Mind as Mind's just a dump stat after we get our other stats leveled up. We're going to have 18 Endurance because that's the most Endurance we need to not fat roll. We're going to have 22 Strength and 15 dexterity, and that's just going to be the requirements for the Blasphemous Blade, which is, in my opinion, the best faith weapon for PvE. And we're gonna have base intelligence and arcane, and then we're gonna have 78 faith boosted to 80, because that is the faith soft cap. For weapons, as I've already said, we're gonna have the Blasphemous Blade. And for the seal, we're going to use the Erdtree seal because that is the best seal for just general use faith casting at 80 faith. For armor, we're going to have the Haley Tree Night Helm. We're going to have the fingerprint armor altered, the Godskin Nodal bracelets, and then Blyde's Greaves, and that's going to give us the 51 poise breakpoint, which is very important in PvE. For talismans, we're going to have the Flox Canvas Talisman, the Faithful Canvas Talisman the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman, and the Shard of Alexander. Those are going to boost our survivability and our damage. 
For the Great Rune, we're going to have Rodan's Great Rune. For Crystal Tears, we're going to have the Applying Heart Tier and the Flame Shrouding Crack Tier to boost our survivability and damage yet again. For spells, we're going to be using Catch Flame, the Flame of Frenzy, Frenzied Burst, Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike, Golden Vow, and Howl of Sabriri. Catch Flame is going to be our up close melee spell. Flame of Frenzy is going to be our AoE deterrent spell. Frenzied Burst is going to be our long range sniping spell. And Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike is going to be our one shot potential spell. 